Good morning, Connections. Glad you're here. We're talking Abraham this week, and this story goes out to all of those of you who like to fix things. When we fix things without consulting God or staying to the path that God has placed us on, we often interrupt and cause tremendous consequences. And one of the byproducts of those consequences often is a lot of drama. And if there's one thing that plagues Connections Church more than anything else, it is way too much drama. So today's lesson is let God lead. And oftentimes that's going to require us to wait on him and his timing and his plan to fully develop. And that's where Sarah and Abraham went off on a tangent that cost great tribulation for till the day, even. So Genesis 16, 1 is where we find the seed of these poor choices. Now Sarai, Abram's wife, had not been able to bear children for him. But she had an Egyptian servant named Hagar. So Sarai said to Abram, The Lord has prevented me from having children. Go and sleep with my servant. Perhaps I can have children through her. And Abram agreed with Sarai's proposal. Okay, this is a prime example of what happens when we get our hands in the mix of what God has planned. Now keep in mind, this comes before, if you did have, have an opportunity to see yesterday's devotional, this comes before those chapters where God is announcing that Sarah would have a child within the next year. So this comes before, and this is a, a prime example of, of putting your hands where you shouldn't, and the all of the things that result from that. There's going to be consequences for these decisions. And the first consequence is there's a tremendous division between Sarai and Hagar as Hagar becomes pregnant. Sarai now feels that she is not truly the wife of Abraham because she was not able to give a son. And she's angry. She's angry at everyone. Tremendous amount of drama. Now Hagar loses her position because she was a trusted servant of Sarai and now no longer. Now God intervenes and, and calls out to Hagar and tells her that everything's going to be fine, but everything's going to be fine and that this new branch that branches off from Abraham has been created. And that branch will be a thorn in the side of the uh, Isaac's descendants forever. Even to today, you can turn to the, the, uh, the headlines of today and see that these two branches have been at war with one another from almost the very beginning. All consequences of Abram and Sarai getting their hands in things that they didn't need to. We think we have drama at Connections Church. Look at the drama that was created by one poor decision when, we ch when Sarai chose not to wait on the Lord. Evidence of that is here in Genesis 21, 8. When Isaac grew up and was about to be weaned, Abraham prepared a huge feast to celebrate the occasion. But Sarah saw Ishmael, the son of Abraham, and her Egyptian servant, Hagar, making fun of her son, Isaac. So she turned to Abraham and demanded, get rid of that slave woman and her son. He is not going to share the inheritance with my son, Isaac. I won't have it. It never improves. The drama still exists. Hagar does uh, 
initially go back and try to stay there within the fold of Abraham and his people. But the tension is always there and mounting. And now that Isaac has been born, there's a rivalry between the two sons. So Hagar and Ishmael are banned from the camp. But as faithful as God is and what he has already shared with Hagar comes to pass here in 17. But God heard the boy crying and the angel of God called to Hagar from heaven. Hagar, what's wrong? Do not be afraid. God has heard the boy crying as he lies there. Go to him and comfort him for I will make a great nation from his descendants. We must steer away from taking things on our own hands, operating out of our own wisdom, trying to fix things that God does not intend us to fix. How do we know the difference? We ask. And until we have a clear word from God on what direction to take, we stay the course. It's that simple. Want to reduce the amount of drama in your life? Seek God. Keep your ear to what he is asking of you. And if you don't hear, continue operating as, as his word calls you to operate. You will have your answers. It may require you to wait. Patience is something that uh, as God knits the story together, he may be working another piece of the story elsewhere. And you are called to wait until that piece is completed and knitted into what he has for you. Don't get ahead of God. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for your wisdom. As it's tried and true, it doesn't require us to, to think outside the box. It doesn't require us to, to come up with another plan in case your plan doesn't work out. You are asking us to follow and to submit to your ways. Lord, we pray that drama would leave our lives. And today we recognize that we play a role in that. The next time we are given a, a quick fix scheme, we will know that it is not of you, Lord, but instead turn to you for our answers. Lord, we desire to live at peace. We are the victims of our own schemes. Forgive us, Lord. Thank you for cleaning up our messes and making a path forward. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, see you back here tomorrow. Know that I love you. I miss you. And please, be good. <laughs>